Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th Grade, Module 10, Lesson 2. Let's start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can divide a unit fraction by a whole number using a visual fraction model. And the learning objective is to divide a unit fraction by a whole number to find the size of the equal parts by using visual fraction models. The prior learning is that students represented fractions as the product of whole numbers and unit fractions. Students multiplied fractions by whole numbers using visual models and equations, and students solved word problems involving multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into lesson two on page 243. We start out with a word problem that reads, a recreation center has a batting cage with a machine that pitches balls to the batter. Five friends sign up for a half hour of time in the batting cage. If they share that half hour equally, how much of a whole hour will each friend get in the batting cage? Okay, so we have a half an hour, which we know is 30 minutes, and five friends want to be sharing these 30 minutes. But we want to know how much of the full hour is each friend getting. So there's two things going on here. We know we want to start out with one whole, right? Here is going to be our one hour. This is going to be showing as our one whole. But we know what we're really working with is our half an hour, our 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show half bars underneath. So these are going to be my halves. And then it says that five, sh five friends are sharing this half an hour. So what I need to do is I need to take my half and I need to split it into five sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another bar right below it and I'm going to split that bar into five. So now it's asking, now that we know how much of the section each friend is getting, how much is it compared to the whole? How much is it for the whole hour? So what we need to do is we need to break up those equal pieces all the way across through that one whole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that one half section and I'm gonna break it up into fifth pieces again. Now I have five pieces in one half and five pieces in another half. So how much is that for the entire whole? Well, how many pieces do I have? I have five on one side and five on the other side. So I have 10 pieces. So each friend gets one of the 10 available pieces, which that fraction would be one tenth. So each friend will get one tenth of an hour in the batting cage. I do want to show you real quick what this would look like with my fraction pieces. So if we look at this board here, I have my one hole and I have my two halves and I left a little bit of a space just so you could see really easily the split. And then I show my one tenths and notice there are five of those one tenths on, the, on one side of the half. And then there are five of the one tenths on the other side of the half. So this is what it would look like with our fraction pieces. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page here. Now we're moving into page 244. We have a word problem that says, the distance around the track at the recreation center is one fourth of a mile. Mieta, Will, and Holly plan to divide the distance evenly to practice sprints. What distance does each person run? So this is a very similar problem that we just did. We're looking for the whole, but this time we have one fourth of a mile so one fourth is our base instead of the half. And this time we have three friends instead of five friends. So the numbers are changing, but it's essentially the same type of problem. So what we wanna do is we wanna be able to draw that figure in the green box. Then we wanna come down and answer the rest of the problem. So for A, it says, what visual model did you use to represent the distance around the track? So really just describe to me what you did in your picture in words. B, how does your visual model show the distance around the track and how it was divided? So describe to me how you did. I made this be worth the columns, this was my rows, and this was the total answer that I got. That's what that question is looking for. C, how can you use your visual model to show the distance each person runs? So we wanna look at the, just that one tiny square. What does that one tiny square show in the problem? 
D, use your visual model to write a division equation that models the situation. This is where we're really looking for. We were able to do it in pictures, but what does the standard algorithm division problem look like with our fraction? And then E, what was the distance? What was the answer that you found? So go ahead and try these couple questions and I'll have you hit pause here. All right, great work. Let's go ahead and go through this. So in this visual model, remember I have one fourth of a mile. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take up pretty much most of my section here, and then I'm gonna split it into fourths to show my fourth mile. So if I split it in half and then I split that half and half, I will have my fourth. So I have one, two, three, four sections here. So if I'm looking at just that left section, that's my one fourth. Okay, but now I have my three friends that are splitting that section. So going the other way, I wanna just split it into three for my three friends. So there's one friend, and then second friend, and third friend. There's my visual model. And just so you can see, I'll do the first initial of each. So here was that first friend, second friend, and then the third friend. So they're each getting that section because I'm only looking at the fourth and they're splitting it evenly between the three friends. Okay, so now we need to go through and explain what we just did. So it says, what visual model did you use to represent the distance around the track? I just said I made a rectangle into four parts. As simple as that, right? So rectangle into four parts. And for B, it says, how does your visual model show how the distance around the track was divided? Well, I split those four sections into three more parts. So I split the four sections into three parts, showing my different friends. Now for C, how can you use your visual model to show the distance each person runs? Well, if I look at just one of the friends, like my first friend, the M for Mieta, she's taking up how much of the whole? Well, her one square is one out of how many are available total in that rectangle. If there's three, four times, three times four would be 12. There are 12 different squares in that section. So it shows, one twelfth of the whole. Then for D, use your visual model to write the division equation that models the situation. We started with a fourth. So whatever number you start with, that needs to be your first number. So we started with a fourth and we took that fourth and we divided it into three. So we took a fourth, we divided it by three for our three friends, and that was equal to one twelfth. We got one out of 12. So what distance does each person run? Now we just wanna attach the unit to it. That was one twelfth of a mile. All right, that's it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up all the rest of those problems, and I'll see you back here for module 10, lesson three.